learning is not preparation for life, it is a part of life. What motivates our recent graduates, like generations of Whitworthians before them, is that they are pursuing a calling rather than a career. They seek to change the world, and not just their own places in it. They lift up curiosity and conviction, grace and truth, responsibility and compassion in a culture that too often pits these values against one another. With age comes reflection, and as Whitworth University celebrates the milestone of 125 years of excellence in education, we consider where we are, where we've been, and what defines us as we continue to build on a vision first imagined so long ago. I'm sure that if Dr. George Whitworth, the founder of Whitworth College, could see the campus today, could attend the classes, could meet the faculty, he would indeed be satisfied that his dream of a Christian college had come to pass. Education in the liberal arts is education in the arts of freedom. Freedom from ignorance, freedom for the best use of every person's ability. From the untamed Washington territory sprang the beginning of our story and a long tradition of courageous leadership. As George Whitworth and others grew a humble academy holding classes in the Sumner Presbyterian Church beginning in 1886, to the size desiring incorporation as a college in 1890, relocating to larger quarters in Tacoma 10 years later. But the people of Spokane, the vigorous cosmopolitan center of the Northwest's thriving inland empire, felt so strongly that Whitworth College would enrich their lives that they invited the college to join this community. Imagine Spokane in September 1914 as the first session of classes rang in a new beginning. The feeling of being a part of a distinctive community of students and scholars is everywhere evident. For the decades that lie ahead of us, the path is well lit by the courageous leadership and inspiring vision of those who have served before. The mid-60s further distinguished Whitworth's identity with the adoption of the 414 academic year and the core worldview program. Because everyone is required to take these three core classes, they form a common base for understanding and discourse. The core program serves as an intellectual cedar chest for all of us. It's the vessel for our rich intellectual heritage. In the words of Clem Simpson, We wanted it to be a part of the big conversation, and we wanted it to reflect Whitworth's distinctive value of openness as well as its sense of Christian community. The commitment and innovations of Whitworth's exceptional faculty throughout the decades has set the institution apart and created a culture both welcoming and challenging. The 1970s were an especially important time for opening dialogues that addressed political and social issues. Fenton Duval wrote, I believe you can truly have a Christian liberal arts college when the commitment to Christ is firm and strong and deep and positive. But at the same time, you're not afraid to be open to ambiguities and paradoxes and the fact that we don't have all the answers. The college campus today is a thrilling and challenging place to be. The students are all at once bewildered, curious, frustrated, motivated, idealistic, to a degree beyond any previous generation. Whitworth's campus is a world of its own, but the whole world is Whitworth's campus too. St. Augustine compared the world to a book. He said, 
Those who do not travel open only a single page. Whitworth's Study Abroad program is pivotal in nurturing global citizenship and cross-cultural experiences. Our professors lead classes all over the world, including France, China, Tanzania, Great Britain, and Central America. Perhaps first of all, a college is a place. And the story of its growth from its beginnings in Spokane can be read in its architecture and in the functions of its buildings. From where we sit now on over 200 acres, surrounded by both historic and new red brick buildings of our institution, the courageous spirit of the pioneers of our past can still be felt. And with that spirit, there is more to be done. Our Founder's mission of equipping students to honor God, follow Christ, and serve humanity thrives still, paired with invigorated resources and exciting improvements to enhance a timeless foundation of excellence in the education of mind and heart. To Whitworth College, I pledge my best efforts and will do all that is within me to provide a strong win at the back of these scholars so well equipped to enlighten our society and advance the kingdom of God. Whitworth has grown from a college into a university with four distinct schools, 20 academic departments, and 180 full-time faculty serving nearly 3,000 students in multiple locations. And while we've grown, witnessing over half of Whitworth alumni walking the stage for their diploma in only the last 25 years of our history, a close-knit and supportive sense of community remains strong on campus. By keeping affordability a priority, we leave the doors of Whitworth open to the diversity of perspective and life experience that fuels the academic and spiritual pursuit of truth. It is in the creative tension at these intellectual and spiritual crossroads that students' minds and hearts are forged for great purpose. When Whitworth graduates receive their diplomas, they hold in common the knowledge that they are not just being dropped off into the world, they are being sent. Whitworth sends its graduates out with sharp minds, equipped to put their best ideas, creativity, and innovation into action. And with engaged hearts, prepared to embrace a diverse world in deep need. And the world, one person, one place at a time, is transformed.